Thank you for stopping and taking a look at our videos. My name is Matt Haney. I'm one of the founders of Harvest Rain. We're a full service rainwater collection company and we focus on design, installation, and service of rainwater collection systems. Now on to filtration. We've got a sediment filter, a carbon filter, and an ultraviolet light. The water first enters a sediment filter that takes any material out of the water, like little dust particles or small, small, small dirt particles. And then we've got a carbon filter that's most used for taste and odor. This would remove any taste or any odor in the water. And then onto the ultraviolet light, what we call the most important link in the chain. The UV light is especially important because the UV disinfects the water. Water will actually travel through the canister, become disinfected, and then go into your home for use. I want to focus for a second on the ultraviolet light. UV lights are very important, but very simple and straightforward to operate and maintain. You'll notice on this UV light, there's a small LED counter. This counter counts backwards. Currently this reads 365. This particular light is made by Viqua. We've been very happy with Viqua over the years. They come in many different sizes. This particular model is for in-home use. You see the LED display that reads 365. The system was actually just installed or the bulb was either just replaced because it's showing a full 365 days of use before the bulb needs to be replaced. Changing your filters is very simple. Always remember to turn the source off before and after and release your pressure from each of your systems. Insert your wrench, release the filter housing, remove the filter and replace it with a new filter. Our systems are designed to be very low maintenance and very user friendly. Well, how often is a big question. That varies from customer to customer. When in doubt, go back to your owner's manual. All of our systems come with an owner's manual that explain how often you need to take care of your regularly scheduled maintenance. So this particular model is an Aquavar Solo 2, which is submersible water pump uh, that we use to give pressure to the entire system. So the pump is sitting in the bottom of the water tank, providing a pressure source, and then comes through the filtration set, through the UV, and then into the home. This particular model we love because we've got a controller readout that allows us to know what's going on with the pump at all times. You'll see right now it's fluctuating between 58 and 59 PSI. That's very important. Customers always wanna know, if I do this, am I gonna have enough water pressure to wash out the soap from my hair? Absolutely. These pumps can range anywhere from 50 to 150 PSI, depending upon what our pressure needs are. Why do I need this pump versus that pump, et cetera, et cetera. Grade is the biggest answer. If the pump is very high above grade from the home or very below grade from the home, that's gonna fluctuate and change the dynamics of the pump. They're leading to a different type of pump need. Sometimes we'll see a centrifugal pump or a jet pump, which is a small compact pump that lives outside on the ground. Sometimes we'll go to a submersible water pump if we've got a lot of grade to overcome from the tank location to the home.